Hello and welcome to my guides in getting started with TSM4. Now today I'd like to talk about setting up multiple posting operations on a single group so you can post in different stack sizes. So let's say for example I have a whole load of bear tartar here that I want to sell in different stack sizes. So I currently have 140 in my bags so I'm going to move that over here and then we'll go into my groups and I've got a fresh new setup here and I've got a basic group of cooking that's got nothing in it so we're going to make a subgroup of this and call it bear tartar. And then we can add in our bear tartar like so. And now we can set a group operation for it. Let's start with a basic one. So say for example, we wanted to do a number of stacks of 20 of this. So you'd look at what you've got and roughly what kind of quantities you'd want to sell. And you say, okay, maybe I want to sell four stacks of 20. So what we can do is we start our first group off and we can use it here. We can go override the parent one and we create a new operation. So we're gonna create a new one here and we're going to call this um, bear tar, tar times 20. So these are going to be in stacks of 20. So I'm going to go through my posting operations, go through my usual things. Now, this is the important bit, the post cap and the posted stack size. So what I want to do here is say I want only four stacks of 20. So I post cap to four, press enter to make it commit and 20 for the stack size. Now I'm not going to turn on allow partial stack because I want TSM to only do four stacks of 20. And then I've got my normal bid amounts and min, max and average price. If I was to hover over the tooltip now and look at the min, max and average for a normal one here, but currently the minimum is one gold 33, the normal is 10 gold and the maximum is 26. So we could use that as a default, it's, it's fair enough. That kind of range is the sort of range that I'd be happy with for now. So I'm not gonna bother changing anything on these. I'm gonna keep them all the same, all as default. And then when you go back to your group, you can see it has auctioning bear tartars times 20. Now, in order to do multiple operations, what we can do is we can go into the bear tartar times 20 and we can actually make a copy of it, clicking on this icon here. And I'll make another copy of it and then we're going to make another copy of it. So this time, I'm going to call this bear tartar times 10. And this one, I'm going to do bear tartar times five. So now we've got three different operations that are all a copy of each other, but we need to go through and change the amounts of these two. So we're going to take the 10, keep everything else the same. And this time we're going to do, let's say four stacks of 10. So we've got four stacks of 20, which is going to be 80, and then four stacks of 10, which is going to be 40. So we've got 120, and then that leaves us with another 20. So what we could do is maybe say, okay, if we want to get this exact amount on the auction house, we could maybe change this one to four stacks five, or you could even go further and go three stacks of five and create another one based off of this one and do some singles. We can do this by one and this one is going to be the other way around, five stacks of one. So now we have all our bear tartar, different kind of posting operations in different stack quantities and amounts. We can assign multiples of these by clicking on our bear tartar, going into group operations, and we can add extra operations on. So we've got the 20, so it's gonna start off with the 20, and to post those first, then we can add in the bear tartar times 10. And then we can add another one in and do the bear tartar times five. And then we can add another one in and we can do the singles. So that way TSM is gonna post on four stacks of 20, then four stacks of 10, then three stacks of five, and then five stacks of one. That way we've got a big spread of different stack sizes. So we don't know exactly which one's going to sell. So it's a good way of just trying out the market and seeing which stack size is gonna get the most sales and then how you could adjust it in the future. So now there's another thing you can do, and that's linking together the prices of all of these. Let's say, for example, we didn't want to use the default for this. 
So we go back down here and say we wanted to keep this at something that we would use more commonly like 110% crafting as your min price. And we'd probably throw in a vendor cell check in there as well and wrap all that around parentheses. And the minimum price would be actually the maximum between the two of those. So it's either going to be 110% crafting or vendor cell, whichever is the biggest of the two. And then we can change this to post at minimum price. And then maybe our maximum we want to be a bit different. So our, maximum, our minimum now has gone down to 12 silver and 50, which is actually quite low. So maybe I want to actually boost that up a little bit more to something like 200% crafting. Because my crafting price is actually quite cheap for these. It only cost me 9 silver to make. So I'm still making a profit on these. And let's say I wanted to change these to something that I might use a bit more, which would be the average between DB market and DB region market average, and then adjust the percentages accordingly. I'd probably go for something like 300% DB market and 400% on DB region market average. And then I can use that again, copy that, and we're going to change this to when above maximum, we're going to change that post at maximum price. And I'm going to go down here and do the last one. And then adjust the percentages a little bit lower to something that would be more normal, which would be something like 120% DB market or something like 150% DB region and average between the two of them. Then I'll go check my min max normal prices, see what kind of figures we got there. So the minimum is 18 silver. The normal is 11 gold, so it's probably a bit high actually. And then the maximum is 28 gold. So maybe I'd reduce that down a little bit more and take an average between just the two of them. You don't need to do 100% when you're doing it. You can just do the DB region or the DB market, but it helps to have the percentages in there just so you can see. Now we're at 7 gold 95 as a normal price and 28 gold as a maximum. Still thinking that minimum price is a bit low, so I'm going to add in a little bit extra here, a little bit of a margin of plus three gold. That way I'm adding three gold, 18 silver on there. So that's just going to make it worth my while doing it that way. Now that I've got this set up for the 20, how do I get this to work for all the other ones? Well, what you can do is you go to the 10 one, the next one. And now what you do is you go down here. What you do is a little link icon here and you can link this to a previous operation. So you can go through here and link it to the one we just customized, which is the bear tartar times 20. And then when we go back down, you can see it's linked and it's using the max crafting vendor cell plus three. And it's gone gold now to show you that it's linked with this one. So when you adjust the 20 one, the 10 will also adjust. Now the when below minimum hasn't been linked. So you also have to do that as well. I link that to the 20. And then we're going to go through and link the maximum of both of these and the normal. I'm going to go through and do it for everything. So now when we look through each of these, we've got the regular one, which is our main one, which is the, the root one. None of these are linked. And so we've got all this is max 200% crafting, all the things we set up. And then each of these is linked to this one and it's copying the same things that we put in there. And the same here. And the same in the singles. Then you may decide that you want to do slightly different prices for different stack sizes. You may want to boost up one and then keep one at slightly cheaper. You can then just unlink them and then adjust them as, as you'd like. So you'd maybe want to take the margin off of this one. Now it's gone and you can change the margin of that one to maybe maybe a bit lower, maybe down to maybe down to one gold. So maybe you're willing to go a little bit lower for your single stacks than you are for your other ones. I won't see that reflected in the min normal maximum price, but at least you know it's there. So that's the group set up. We've got all our multiple ones now. All we need to do now is post it on the auction house. And here we go, we're going to undercut all of them. 
And so the first one is going to be four stacks of 20. So I'll post those. And then four stacks of 10. Then three stacks of five. And five stacks of one. Now if I calculated that correctly, I should have no bear tartar left in my bags. So it's all gone. That's a useful way of um, setting up multiple operations to a single group. It's really useful if you're going to spread a lot of different stack sizes and you want to maybe set slightly different prices for ones or you want to link them together and do the same price for all of them and it allows you to adjust them more easily that way. So I hope you found that useful. Until next time, happy gold making.